how you can find the additive inverse of a certain rational numbers let's consider any two rational numbers as p over q and minus p over q if we add them together what will happen let's see p over q minus plus minus p over q then p over q remove the brackets you will get minus p over q and it will be zero it is the same as 1 minus 1 which is to zero hence you can say that p over q and minus p over q are called additive inverse of each other and what you will call this zero this zero is called the additive identity keep in mind the difference that additive inverse is the same number with opposite sign and additive identity is the zero zero is the additive identity or the result of adding the two rational numbers that will give the zero okay now how how you can find the additive inverse of a certain number for example you are given with 1 by 3 what will be the additive inverse of 1 by 3 it will be minus 1 by 3 okay what will be the additive inverse of 5 it will be minus 5 1 it will be minus 1 5 over 2 it will be minus 5 over 2 okay it means what are you doing in finding the additive inverse you are just inverting the signs inverting the signs and the number is the same it means the number should be the same to for the additive inverse if will, i'll ask what is the additive inverse of minus 7 by 4 you have to answer it quickly by saying that it's additive in uh, 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 what will be the additive inverse of minus 7 by 4 it will be 7 by 4 you are just inverting this sign you will get its additive inverse now you can also check it whether it is right or not how you can check let's see you can check by adding them together like minus 7 by 4 when added to 7 by 4 it will give you with this minus 7 plus 7 equals to 0 this is called the additive identity this is additive identity and if you get the additive identity it means that they are the additive inverse of each other so this was all about how you can find the additive inverse of a rational number just by inverting the sign and by checking check them by adding that to them together and the result must be equal to 0 thank you